Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to What Can I Change? Uh, today we're talking about a trans-identified female. This is going to be a confusing video, but I'll try to explain it the best I can. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content, and if you want to help the production value of this, you know, all the money goes back to the production, you can use that. There is my cash app if you want to donate. Thank you. So, <sighs> let me just go ahead and put this video up. It's, all, it's already pretty confusing. Let me make sure I got it ready to go. Yep. Alright, let's go. So this is a man who has breasts, okay? So this man has breasts, and they have the breasts out and open. Um, so that's what's going on. So this man has gotten <laughs> this man has gotten surgery to have breasts. As you can see, they're not perfect. Well, you can't see at all, but they're not great, all right? Well, let's watch the video, and I'll explain more. So, as far as I can see, this is the man who's gotten breasts. And the, what people are having a problem with is that this is on TikTok. This is blurred out. I'm censoring it. And there's a censor underneath my censor. Um, so, they're saying that people who are trans, and if they were to get, you know, breast augmentation, right, get fake breasts, they can now get on, they can now get on TikTok and be topless. It, because they're... So, what they're saying is that a woman can get on there and show her breasts. It's got to be censored, banned. But if a person who's trans has breasts, they put it on TikTok, they're not going to be banned. It's perfectly okay. See, this is the problem that I have, man. This is the problem that I have. This, First of all, this individual said that if you like them to donate, so I'm assuming this is going to go towards an OnlyFans at some point. It's kind of weird. A little off. Um, so this person is obviously dealing with some kind of... I told you, the people who are trans and they become trans and feel like they need to show off their fake breasts... Those are pro people that obviously have mental problems. Anybody, like I said, if you had a got a fake, if you got a, what is it called? Uh, uh, Y'all know the word. When you get the fake penis, right? Uh, philo, 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 plasty, philo, plasty. So if you get one of those, right? And you go out there and show your fake penis to everybody, your fake penis and fake balls, right? And you start showing it on TikTok. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. And if you wanted to do that, if for some reason you wanted to go out and show everybody your fake penis and balls just to show you have it, don't you think there's something wrong with that? We just watched a video the other day, um, or yesterday actually, where I showed you guys, or actually you guys probably saw it today, uploaded today as you see this video. But there was a whole TikTok trend of the, holy shit, I'll just get a transgender operation. We saw countless little girls, countless young women who were getting their breasts taken off and they wanted to show the whole world it. That is a problem. That is a problem. If you feel like you want to take off your genitals, you feel like you want to take off your breasts, or you feel like you want to get breasts or get fake genitals, or I mean, uh, we'll get a fake penis and balls, or get a, a fake vagina, you want to go through that surgery that can go so many problems, can have so many problems, have so many infections that you don't want to see. Trust me, I've seen this stuff on X, which is Twitter now, Twitter X. I've seen all of that stuff, and it's disgusting. Right, the infections that come with it and everything. It's just sad to see because people's lives are ruined forever. But when you see that kind of stuff and people want to go show you on the internet, they want to show you what's happened to them. Don't you think there's something wrong? Don't you think there's something going on in their head? Do you not see the manipulation? Do you not see the brainwashing that somebody feels like they got to show you their fake penis, show you their fake vagina, show you their, their chest with no breasts? They feel like they got to go put this on a TikTok trend now and they got to show the whole world to go get a couple clicks, maybe get a couple views, get some haters. Just so that if some people, they post, the, they post the just for people to hate on it, just to be, go be able to make a video on, the, make a video immediately the next day to be like, man, I have so many haters. I'm following a person right now. That's all they do. They post something to get the haters to say something. And then they make like five videos talking about how many haters they have, even though it's one person who said something. There'll be one person who's like, I don't know, dude, that seems kind of messed up. And they'll make five videos on that one person saying they have so many haters. It's like people live to be hated, but they also want to be loved and validated. And so they go showing their bodies and they go showing all this stuff that's going on with them. It's just something going on. On. It's deeper than you people think, man. I'm past the point where I used to just think it was goofy and weird and silly. 
I take it more seriously now. I think there's something seriously going on. These people are seriously being manipulated and brainwashed into showing off their bodies and thinking it validates them. People are so empty and so lost that they're looking for anything, any validation. Like I said, this has something to do with life being easier than it once was. We have time. We can sit at our house, be in an air conditioner house with a roof over our head, looking at our computers. We don't really have to leave the house if we don't want to. We can get a stay at home job. Right. If you got the skills, you could get a stay at home job working for a call center or working for engineering or something. You can sit at home. You can just literally have everything ordered to you from groceries to, um, you know, you can get groceries. I don't know what people order, but, you know, groceries or order a shirt, pants. You can even try it on an Amazon and send it back if it don't fit. You don't have to leave the house. That's how comfortable we are now. So people are so lost. They don't, they don't socialize anymore. We've already seen this stuff with men. They don't socialize as much anymore. In Japan, they have a big epidemic going on where men aren't even leaving the house. It's just a lot going on. So life is so easy that it's actually hurting us at this point. When I was in college at one point, I read a book called When, Hurting, when Helping Hurts. And it talks about how when you help some people so much that you actually hurt them because you never allow them to have to go through anything. That's where we are now. We have civilized the world or at least civilized America to where we really don't have to do anything if we don't want to. We can sit in our rooms and never have any confrontations and be chilling. I appreciate that, Corey. Um, we can just sit our, sit at our lives and just be chilling. And this is what we get now. People showing their fake breasts off on a TikTok. People are, man, TikTok is a crazy world. X is a crazy world, too. X is more adult to me, but TikTok is starting to get more adult content in there. They're just sneaking it in and putting it under the guise of LGB, and they're putting it under the guise of being trans. But they're coming. They're coming. They're going to sexualize all this, guys, and then they're also going to come for your kids. Just be ready for it. Just be ready for it. Life has gotten easy. So people are really about to start showing those true colors. And guys, I'm going to say this right quick. If y'all ever want to watch me watch one of those furry documentaries, not the furries that go do cosplay, not those furries. I'm talking about the, uh, the zoo Philly, uh, the zoo filios guys, those people, the people who are actually into animals. I'm telling you that world is dark. It's disgusting. I, there's stuff I thought I'd never, ever have to see. It, it, <laughs> Oh my gosh. There's some real evil out there, guys. There truly is. And uh, if you don't start looking for it in the small places like TikTok, TikTok is where it starts. There are whole communities out there that are showing this kind of stuff where this young man is showing off fake breasts. You think this is it? Oh, there's a whole community showing off fake vaginas and all that kind of stuff. And then they're even showing it on the kids. It's bad, guys. It's bad. Anyway, I'm out of here. Hope you have a great day. Peace.